Hello everyone, welcome. Here you're going to see one of my favorite flowers, uh, the artichoke. I specifically planted for the beauty of the flower. As you can see, it has one of the most beautiful flowers. I personally don't eat artichokes. I don't enjoy them, but the flower is another issue altogether. Then here we have a look at my tomatoes. They're doing pretty well. Those are my black-eyed peas that I've planted for both the the peas and the leaves. Then here we have some jalapeno peppers that are doing very well. I've harvested a number of times from the plant. Next we have some um, paste tomatoes that are not doing very well at all. Then right there we have some sh shisho leaf. I planted it but as of now I don't know how to use it. Then we have some peppers, bell peppers. And that is my black beauty eggplant that is doing very well. Those are the leeks and my Kajari melon that has just exploded. I think I have around eight fruits so far. Last year I planted, but they didn't do that well. I think it only produced one fruit that fell and was attacked by ants. So this time I'm going to make sure that I secure them when they start to ripen because they have a tendency to drop when they're ripe. Very healthy looking plant. There are some of the fruits. Then here, these are my strawberries, doing well, but they haven't produced much this year. Also scattered amongst them are bell peppers, not bell peppers, peppers. We have sechito, ajavaski, and the smaller ones, I'm not sure what variety they are. There is another eggplant that I have. And then these are tomatoes you can see the name there I won't try to pronounce it those are slicer tomatoes then these are um, cherry tomatoes not really cherry tomatoes because they are bigger than a cherry tomato then this is a volunteer tomato from last year. I don't remember what variety. I don't remember what variety it was. But I loved it from last year. So when it volunteered, I decided to let it grow. And here I have the Martino paste tomato. It's a determinate tomato. And then my corn, this is flint corn, is doing very well. This is my second round of, of corn. Then these are the red snapper tomatoes that are also slices. They produce very huge tomatoes here I've decided to start harvesting them because something seems to be pecking at all the ripe tomatoes so I've decided I'd rather have them harvested and let them continue ripening in the house okay I continue doing some harvesting
and then I also harvested from the queen of the night I think that's the name of the tomato but it has been really hot and the tomatoes are dropping the flowers and as you can see this one has received the sun sun's cold because of the heat this is the zucchini we were able to harvest two zucchinis I'm trying to grow it vertically so the the shoot that grew on the side I pruned it off so I just have one main stem that I'm trying to support on a tea post so far it's doing very good I've harvested a number of zucchinis from it These are all season cabbages that I'm growing during the summer. As you can see, the white butterfly was flying around. But it brings pests on, the, on brassicas during summer. Here I am harvesting the sun gold tomatoes. Very productive uh, cherry tomato. One of the sweetest cherry tomatoes that you can grow. I think everybody should try a sun gold. The only problem it has it is that it tends to crack when it when it's overwatered. But it's worth it. Try growing it. You love it. This is a volunteer cherry tomato, red tomato. I think it's on its last leg. I plan on uprooting it and putting another tomato in its place. Somehow it hasn't done very well. These are my potatoes, sapomira. I plan to let them stay until they die off before I harvest them. Then here I also planted some dragon tongue uh, beans. I've been harvesting them quite a bit. They tend to be very prolific. I've harvested them quite a number of times already. I don't know how much longer they will be producing before I have to uproot them. We'll see. I'm not ready to pull them out yet.
these are potato the sapobiro that I planted in a container. I think they're ready to be harvested. So let's see what we will get. Whether planting in the container produces better than in the ground. So here I'm removing the wood chips that I had used to mulch before I harvest the potatoes because I plan to reuse the soil. So I don't want the wood chips mixed in the soil because then they may end up tying up the nitrogen when I am ready to use them to use the, the soil for planting some other vegetables. So it's always advisable to remove the wood chips first. At least put them aside and then you can reuse them as mulch again. So here, let's see what comes out. The potatoes were a good size, though they were not as many, but the Sapomira produces huge, huge potatoes if you give it time. And what I like about this variety is that it doesn't seem to have diseases. It's disease resistant. And it has good flavor. This is the second time I'm planting. I planted the first time last season when they first came out because it's a new, a new variety in the U.S. I hope you enjoyed a look around my garden and I hope you will consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and let me leave you with this beautiful array of pollinator attractors. Thank you.